Coming up on Beef Boys. Hey, hey, you know that you know that fun little thing we do where we we force people who watch us to like eat nasty stuff. Yeah. He opened it like on the hood of his car or something. Yeah. The, oh, you can see say. the little ranch on the hood of his car. Oh yeah, the you can. Little, the little lonely ranch cup. It was pineapple. It was pineapple. Oh. <laughs> I made sure to save this when I saw it. I downloaded this video because I was like, they are going to delete this. I know they are going to delete this. But if you were to So I was so excited to spend this whole weekend just playing Zelda and push my forehead against the wall slowly. And then I got fucking sick. You said you, you had, um, what was it? It was meth withdrawals. Mm -hmm. The worst time to play a video game when you're sick and can't do anything except sit on a couch. <laughs> Here's the plot twist. <laughs> yeah. This weekend, it nothing it. was happening. All my friends were busy with other shit. Even better. I, well, but here's the thing. I could have, I would have done the exact same thing except not been sick. Right. I don't know True. if you know this, but being sick sucks. Being sick gives you the excuse to stay inside. But because everyone was busy and I had no plans, I was going to stay inside anyway. Yes. And then I wouldn't have been sick. I feel like I have the opposite where I got sick when Halo Reach came out when I was in middle school and I played like the whole campaign like all day before my friends got home and we played it online and it was... Yeah lit because mm. it was like the only thing getting me through this aids is my beautiful little halo my beautiful little, beautiful little halo yeah i feel like <laughs> no, when, you're, when you're a kid and you're sick that shit's epic because like obviously at that point you got like fucking priorities and shit you got school you got homework but as an adult if you, if you get sick chances are you probably still have to go to work i mean obviously pre-covid that's the other thing that weekend was perfectly i got the zelda video done like day before it dropped with right. James's help because James yeah. fucking knocked it out of the park. Yeah. I, you know, everything was, was set video. up. I, I had Friday clean. I was going to spend all day and take the first day off. I've had like a month just play Zelda and fucking like chill out. And then I got fucking sick and it was like. Yeah. There was a bunch of prep work that went into making sure you could play the game in relapse yeah. mode. And then you just, you got the same thing, but with the, the sick bonus. So what'd you do? Oh, I just played Zelda anyway. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> he, just, he was on his gamer shit regardless. I still, I still did it. I still did the exact same thing I was going to do, whether I was sick or not. I just couldn't enjoy it as much because I right. couldn't I had to, to like, sniffles. go and take naps and, you know, have cold sweats. And yeah. I'd get, I'd, I did the classic like three showers in one day because just so cold. And it's like, oh, you know, you uh, yourself up. Yeah. Kind of meme. It was not yeah. fun, man. Yeah, no. That's, I could that's not take shite. my switch into the, the shower. What would you do if a little <laughs> green man approached you in Zelda Shut and offered to suck? Get the fuck. Hey, hey, you know that you know that fun little thing we do where we we force people who watch us to like eat nasty stuff. Yeah. Our boy Scavo actually he um Sca if you saw the, not the I last episode, forgot the episode about before this. that. Uh our boy Scavo, he he fucking grabbed life by the cojones and uh, went to his local Domino's and ordered that absolute uh, fucking monstrosity that we made for him. <laughs> uh, so we got some material. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it'd be great to, because uh, we didn't get to do it last week, obviously. With, we didn't uh, want to uh, subject Josh Strife. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so Scavo, sorry for the late update. You've been uh, fucking compensated for the pizza. Thanks, to James. So let's uh, let's and see kudos. what our boy Scavo and kudos. It, so let's see what our boy Scavo had to say about uh, the fucking Scavo pizza. More like Gavo. <laughs> Yo! Bringing it back. Uh, he started it off when he was ordering the pizza because how of how many ingredients, just the sheer amount of work that we did on that stupid little graphic. Yeah, it was like thirty dollars US for one Domino's pizza, right? A tiny pizza too. For, like, what, for the, us, it was like thirty one dollars. And yeah. I, I called it. I said, California, California, Flora, California. <laughs> The People's Republic of California. Yeah, the People's <laughs> Republic of Communist Fornia is going to be way more expensive just because it's fucking California. And yeah. wouldn't you know, it was fifty two dollars. And then he, <laughs> he, and then he had like a coupon that Jesus knocked it down to like forty three, I think. Jesus Christ! But like, yeah, that, you're just gonna like twi the, your pizza costs twelve fucking more dollars with a coupon because it's California. Because it's just California. Like, what yeah. the fuck? I like James revealed before that, like, just how many fucking conservative boomers have tried to 
spit communism into California because they both sat in the sea and just like yeah. had their brains fricked yeah, commie, out. It, it, doesn't doesn't commie, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It, it sounds horrible. You know they've tried. Yeah. That's terrible. Com- Although California is like, it's such a mouthful that it kind of circles Comifier? back around being funny. Ca- Catalanist. <laughs> <laughs> shit fuck fuck this was my whole campaign i was better i was gonna run for state senate it's all it's fucked now he blows his brains out with i should put way more time into this pun yeah <laughs> do you think that's a requirement to be like a cult of personality is you have to like come up with fucking ass puns i mean it worked for trump because i obviously yeah. i hate trump i hope someone <laughs> I don't know, man. He seems like a great guy. I don't know why you're going so hard. <laughs> but, he seems a little out of pocket, dude. Yeah, it's kind of insane, he, man. I think you got to. He's really good. Bit. He's really good with the puns because uh, he's running against the guy Ron DeSantis right now, the governor of uh, Flo- uh, uh, Kappa, Florida. I suck and, a lot of penis. And, he, and Ron DeSantis is Italian, and he's kind of fat. And he just calls him Meatball Ron. And it's like, <laughs> how the fuck can you beat someone that's calling you Meatball Ron, bro? You lost. Yeah, it's so you can't it's win. You're, You're just a meatball yeah. now, bro. You've been reduced. <laughs> Did you guys see that his, uh, like, Ron DeSantis's PR team, one of them definitely saw the Wojak going around of him, like, I don't know if you've seen the Ron DeSantis Wojak of him, like, Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I like actually that. don't even know. One of them real saw crazy that. Facial expressions. Yeah, he just he has crazy facial worst. expressions. But they clearly saw it and are concerned about what it's going to do to his campaign because people <laughs> keep making fun of how he looks. It's it's over. He's Ronnie, done. you don't Funny. understand. A Wojak is game over, man. Italian people are either beautiful or hideous, and he definitely got the hideous <laughs> genes. <laughs> who's who's that um, politician who got his entire campaign got like roasted in like two thousand three or something? Abraham oh, Lincoln. Oh, he, oh, he, did, oh, he did the weird scream. Yeah. Oh, there was um, fucking uh, what's his name? <laughs> I brought this up on the podcast a couple of yeah. years ago. I I, yeah. I always forget his name. I love yeah, that. I can't so remember it. Either. And we're gonna and we're gonna go go to Michigan. And then we're going to Idaho, and then we're going to, and we're going to take back the White House. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Did the fucking R two D two scream? And it <laughs> yeah. 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 It's so funny that in America that can end your presidency. Run. Yeah. It doesn't matter. He, like he could have been our Jesus. Like he could have fixed this country. <laughs> Howard exactly. Dean. Jesus. Howard. That's Howard what it was. Dean. There. Yeah. Sorry. And. He just hit the scream and then people were like, <gasps> especially back then, like that's all it took. You you make yeah, you do one it. weird thing and it's it's co- like co- fucking co- Jeb Bush. Please clap. Please, Please clap. clap. Please well, clap. The, the funny thing is though, Please like clap. if he did that, if Howard Dean did that now, he'd like make it his thing and do it at every yeah. rally. And yeah, so yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it would probably like help him. Cool. Yeah, he'd like Photoshop his face onto R two D two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's sued to shit like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that would ruin his his career. Yeah. So anyway, that was uh, so anyway, pizza. Scabo, yeah, Scabo, <laughs> let me know what you think about that. <laughs> let us know your thoughts in the comments, yeah. brother. Anyway, uh, yeah, so he, he uh, fucking Scabo was putting together his pizza and it crashed More his like phone. like Gavo. <laughs> it's actually kind of homophobic, Andrew. Where is the fucking sound bite I want? <laughs> All right, that works. Can you play the monkey walk into a Home Depot? I sure can. <laughs> That's a classic. Where is it? Fuck! I can't maneuver this fucking thing. Oh, there it is. It's a monkey stepping into a Home Depot. I was watching a Papa Meat video the other day, and that woman's voice randomly came up in it because it's just a channel that does stupid viral content like that. That was, <laughs> was, was, was a like, news channel. I did the fucking. The fucking uh, Leonardo pointing at the at the oh. TV meme with Emily being like, yeah. "That's the that's, that's the, the monkey, monkey stepping into Home Depot." That's the monkey stepping into Home Depot. That's the monkey stepping into Home Depot. So anyway, Scavo, let us know what you think about the <laughs> think monkey. Think about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, boys, let's just string it out over the whole fucking. Day. <laughs> yeah. we'll just, so Andrew, Andrew, you said people keep walking into your place, right? <laughs> Dude. Okay. So <laughs> all right, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Andrew, shut I was the taking the, the commu cornea jokes <laughs> cues, and I was like, all right, more like the People's Republic of China, California, North California. Goddamn right. All the food in California is fake. Yo, in California, people have to eat mud. <laughs> yeah, all the groceries <laughs> are a picture for the tourists. Yeah, <laughs> on the window. Is it? Is it true that North North they kill your like child? Groceries right now. Huh? Huh? Wait, what? Didn't 
no, no groceries in Florida right now because they got rid of all the immigrants. Yeah, I, I've been seeing stuff about that. Is it where you are? <laughs> no, nah, the place where I live is very un-Florida for as far as it's still. There's definitely still Florida vibes but like everyone here is from the northeast like there's not very many fucking southern motherfuckers here so yeah uh, okay you still get gators yeah I, I have seen a couple gators yeah like in your backyard or what you go kiss them well i've seen them like slither out of drainage pipes like into swamps and stuff near my parents right. house but my Damn. grandparents a, a gigantic alligator crawled up onto their lawn in their backyard like out of the water in the back of their house they didn't do anything but then it tried to eat one of their bulldogs so they <laughs> tried to oh. eat one of my grandparents <laughs> yeah <laughs> 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 they just they just called the animal control to be like they just said like hey there's an alligator like, we don't know what to do they drop a big anvil on it they came they tied up his legs and shot it in the head with a crossbow and killed Jesus it Jesus Christ <laughs> It's funny. I was I was gonna like jokingly ask, do they shoot it in the head? But they like, shot no, they it in the back of the head with a crossbow. That's insane. It, pen it, pen it penetrates alligator skin better than a bullet yeah. from like close range. Can you imagine if like they were like, overkill and like fucking? Yeah, <laughs> they went straight up acoustic in the way they killed it with like a fucking. Yeah. some guy comes out with like a, a shotgun and puts it in its mouth. He like jumps out of a fucking <laughs> helicopter and perfectly grabs it and ro and like ro death rolls it. <laughs> yeah, and then the, the other guy is like aiming from fifty feet. <laughs> Get me a shot! It. No, I got hit in the helicopter. Jim, I can't get me a shot! Jim, get out of the way! Just shoot it! Forget about me! <laughs> it's like a cool Jedi survivor like finishing move where like the fucking alligator steps yeah. in. He like yeah. he like sidesteps and flips over it and like pierces yeah. it in the head with a blade. So anyway, Skavo, let us know what yeah, you think so about all Skavo, that. Yeah. Do you ever have an alligator? It's, you got I'm so alligator sorry. On your there's pizza. so many good talk talking points that are that are like falling <laughs> off. This one meteoric talking point yeah. is Scavo's <laughs> fucked up pizza. Scavo ate the pizza and he fucking died and he woke up and he had a little Vietnamese woman accent. Are we ready? I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. Scavo, I heard your phone crashed a bunch of times when you checked the ingredients, so I did so you did a split screen. By the end, this was my scrolling window. <laughs> <laughs> So I want to I want to just take a second. Uh, as you can see, he uploaded a picture of what this monstrosity looked like. Here it is. So it was a medium twelve inch, super crunchy pizza. It was one of those thin crust motherfuckers. <laughs> yes. I will say it's not a, it's not as thin as I thought. Yeah. Well, that's it's the not. Thing. It, it, you can't fold a thin. Well, you'll see. Right. He was able to fold the old old thin Domino's crust was straight up a Ritz cracker. A cracker. If you yeah. if you squeezed it, it disintegrated. The thing is, they still do that because Sabrina, I got one like maybe like Fucking a month ago. Cali. So I don't know why they fucking just the they honest. looked at this pizza list and were like, nah, we're not doing that. <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe they put so much toppings on it that it like for, it became a crust in itself. They had to put another dough oh. under it. Yeah, they like, put maybe. like they double layered it. Yeah, they yeah. doubled the dough like it was so heavy. They do that yeah. to my burrito all the time at Chipotle. Oh, yeah, and it's like tortilla. Don't do that. It's like another three hundred and fifty <laughs> calories, bro. Yeah. I didn't. You're, that's illegal. I didn't ask for that. Yeah, that's why they're just looking out. But like in reality, they're just but yeah. In reality, <laughs> you're making me so obese. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's bro, the, oh, put, that is the only reason I'm obese. There's no fault to me <laughs> because just, it's Chipotle. Yeah, yeah, it's like, hey, bro, we put in uh, six cups of sugar in your. Yeah. <laughs> so he put in. Uh, let's see, we got fucking ranch as, as that was the sauce, right? As the base. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a ranch, ranch base. Yeah, ranch base. <laughs> On one half, it was no cheese. The other half was extra cheese. And on the half with extra cheese, we got chicken, shredded provolone, cheddar cheese blend, shredded Parmesan Asiago, and onions. <laughs> and then on the, the half with no pizza. cheese. Yeah, oh. the stickiest pizza. We and on the half mushrooms. with no cheese, we got salami, pineapple, spinach, extra spinach, Diced tomatoes, and the whole thing was uncut, no oregano, and then on top we had black olives, extra black olives, Philly steak, and a hot buffalo sauce, and more feta cheese with a so, ranch dipping cup on I'm the like side. I'm like, we got it uncut. It's such a chaotic move. Yeah, it's a big fucking disc. <laughs> did, did we get did we get olives on the whole thing or just the one side uh it says here that he, i mean the way he ordered it was extra black olives on the whole thing so there's the, i just he imagine there's them. like there's an army of olives buried under like one of yeah. <laughs> yeah. like, they did like three layers of cheese and then put the yeah. olives and then put another layer of fucking cheese on top of the olives it's just blank it's buried buried under so they're like 
Yeah, they're like barely cooked, fucking <laughs> yeah, disgustingly soggy. moist olives. Yeah. It's so funny because like Domino's obviously has some kind of structure around like, oh, put these toppings go on top of these toppings. Like, you yeah. Because yeah. in this case, obviously the cheese goes Imagine on top Imagine they put the salami on top of it all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just a big blanket of salami on top. Yeah. <laughs> I just like the idea that like the, the, the person making it, their fucking brain was fritzing because they had to figure out like this topic goes on top of this topic goes on top of this topic, but then it's a half one, so this one goes on yeah. this one. Yeah. It was just like they gotta think of the structural integrity. Yeah. It was, it's like the final boss battle in those cooking games where <laughs> yeah. you, where it's yeah, like yeah. Yeah. you're running around putting shit in different pots and everything. He has to go into his mind palace. <laughs> no. I don't think they do a proper the rapper where they fucking have like a, a an instructor who's like olive salami, it's all in my ass. See, and then, like the guy's now, like olive salami. Mommy, it's all in his ass. I find it interesting <laughs> that you say Parappa the rapper instead of Parappa the rapper. Yeah, isn't that oh, the is whole that? point? Well, I don't know, yeah, but there's a bit right. more flow yeah. to it if you say it that, that way. I'm saying James is, I think James is correct. I think that's kind of the whole point of the Yeah, that's like, yeah, you know, No, that is yeah. 100% how you say it. I've just Parappa been saying, the rapper. I've been saying it like Parappa this since I was rapper. a kid. I, I, I love that game. Parappa the rapper. Yeah. <laughs> Parappa the rapper. <laughs> Parappa the rapper. <laughs> My favorite video game. Rue, yeah. feet. This girl at the club Scavo tell us what you think <laughs> about Scavo featuring the pizza outside of Domino he opened it like on the hood of his car or something yeah the, oh, you can see it. the little ranch on the hood of his car oh yeah the you little, can the little, little oh. lonely ranch cup in case yeah. there was enough ranch as the base we gave him a little extra ranch cup <laughs> as the <laughs> side the worst thing on that whole pizza to me, which I, I think I mentioned, is the fucking diced tomatoes. Dude, it I, makes it look like fresh it's a tomatoes high. on top of a pizza is fucking disgusting, bro. Yeah. Yeah, because I like, hate that shit. It's, yeah, the, it, it adds like a, a sort of freshness that doesn't really sit right with it. The, yeah, it doesn't belong. Yeah. yeah. It's also too yeah. wet. It's, it's yeah, way it's too wet. Damp. And, it, and like, those it, are some it, it red tomatoes. The crust and makes it wet. <laughs> it looks yeah. like watermelon. Yeah. It's those tomatoes, tomatoes are like, like water hopping off the pizza. Yeah. yeah. I will say what made me what made me actually like laugh out loud was it made him LOL. <laughs> it made me LOL. It was made when me raw when XD. Went to go pick up the pizza. The fucking dumbass fucking bitch behind the counter said, "You order this pizza all the time." <laughs> The first guy, the thing the guy says to me when I walk in is, "You order this pizza all the time." <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Why? Why would he assume that? Yeah. If I come also, into GameStop and buy fucking Parappa the Rapper, do I buy Parappa the Rapper all the you time? Buy this all game the time? Not necessarily. You can never have too many copies, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Also, like. Bro, it's your job to make pizza. Shut the fuck up. Just yeah, like, shut don't up, judge bitch. Me don't, on get, don't get sassy. Pride. Nah, he's probably being funny with it. Because if someone ordered that, if I was, that would be fucking epic. Yeah. If I knew I was delivering oh. that to someone, I ha I would have to question them. You'd have you'd to, have to ask. You'd have to meet them first of all. It's, it's like I would tell, yeah. I would tell everyone about this, but I wouldn't confront the person on it. I just I think like, I would just size confront. Them up. What the, in, 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 a fun, in a funny, in a funny, in a funny way. Yes, yeah. you point a gun at them. They okay. ask for no contact delivery, and you're just standing like out in their driveway. I'm like, I just, I just had to know. I had to see the person who ordered this, <laughs> bro. So, really <laughs> quick. Some, sometimes I haven't ordered it in like weeks, but sometimes when I order Uber Eats, I do the no contact delivery, and I leave all the fucking instructions. Like this seventh <laughs> building on the left, second, third floor, second staircase. Spin around, uh, scream in the air. Yeah. Press just R two L two. Please, L1, R2. please, <laughs> please don't knock. Leave it at the door. My like, I put like my fucking grandma's asleep. Don't knock, and then <laughs> spit on my window. The, the, but after all that, like half the time they'll get here, and then they'll put the food on the ground, and they'll call me. Yeah, and I'll and I'll I be and, and, and it's just like. No, it's just like I don't want to. I just don't want to pick it up, and then I pick it up, and they're like, "Hi, it's your reach driver. I'm here." <laughs> it's like, cool. okay. Did you uh, did you read the instructions I left? Yeah, and then I have to open the door, and they're just standing there with the food on the ground, just looking at Butt me, butt ass naked. <laughs> it was just, it's just like, why are you? What, what did they're this do for either of us? Backing away, <laughs> fucking get out of here. <laughs> maybe, maybe they're expecting like a cash tip, like maybe. Maybe I tip they, them good, bro. Yeah, but maybe they think they're like 
Oh, if I wait here, he'll give me some cash on top yeah. of this. Too. Nah, you're just gonna see my ugly ass at two o'clock in the morning with fucking <laughs> boxers on, you're picking up my naked. fucking sandwich, bro. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I, at least I they, already gave you the tip. At least they fucking uh, come up to your door, though. I always remember that one time the guy left my Uber Eats in the middle of the sliding doors at the front of my fucking huge <laughs> apartment building, and I went down there, and people were having to walk around it. <laughs> I will say deliver having to deliver food up in a giant apartment building was the bane of my existence as a delivery driver. Yeah. Oh, no, I get it. Like I, I say in my thing, I'll tip you if you come up because we didn't tip I'll you. I'll kiss you if you come up. So it's like, I'll, I, that's like, a, hey, if you come up. I'll, but even it's like, just drop in the lobby or inside somewhere or at least not in the, like dude really thought I owned this. I lived in this entire fucking like 10 story hey. building. Yeah. And I would just walk up to my Maybe. front door. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I'm definitely. I'm, the guy who got that is definitely ordering a, a medium Big Mac combo. Next, Gabo says he sends a picture of it folded. Shout out. <laughs> yeah, and he says, says there is so, so much oil, oil and ranch. And, ranch and cum. The cheese have conglomerated into a disc of Franken cheese, a <laughs> oh. Voltron or Megazord of cheese. This next options. picture, it, like, actually makes me sick. Like, it, it looks so fucking disgusting. It's kind of making me hungry. I would not lie. <laughs> really? <laughs> I I got my not, juices it's hiding going. everything but the cheese and the olives and i and love me some olives and cheese on a pizza no i'm saying the next one down that one that one looks oh. fine i'm saying the next one. Oh, uh, the, what? the one that looks like it's fucking, ripping like it it's yeah, dripping it like, like a kebab coming out of it yeah. oh <laughs> man that is <laughs> it's true, it looks like that looks i don't know how you got that far skavo I still don't know what I'm tasting. Half done. I'll take some bites of the olive half and cool it. <laughs> olive half. <laughs> bro, it's all olives everywhere, bro. You can't yeah. escape it. You can see a big old butcher's knife off to the side of the box in the top right corner that <laughs> oh, he had to use can. to cut the pizza. Yeah. This may yeah. ruin ranch dressing for me. For all oh. Now, here's the thing. If you twist your brain into you. thinking this is like, like a kebab or like yeah. a panini, it like kind of works. But then you remember it's a pizza. But then you look yeah. into that pit, uh, that, that pizza, that pizzosi. You're looking into <laughs> yeah, that, that pizzosi fucking hole. Like you can't, you, you, like what is that orange? Yeah, dude, it almost looks like fish or something. But yeah, I, like I, there, <laughs> there's so much. It's like yeah. one of those pictures you could, like one of those pieces of art you could zoom into forever and you'll f keep finding oh, yeah. more stuff. Yeah, you'll find Like hidden shit. in the layers. I, I think, I wish I think what that is is a it. chunk of pineapple with a little line of uh, buffalo sauce. Oh, God. It looks like if you put like sushi inside of like a flatbread. If you and then just smushed it all like raw fucking fish and shit. Yeah. Oh. Can you imagine fucking this? Prez says, How much pie you got left to go? And this cable says, About two and a half inches thick. Which, which I technically I is a measurement. I'm just getting a stream of consciousness. Like, yeah. Yeah. He's not even aware of the world around him and what Yeah, he's not in reality him. anymore. He's just yeah. saying he's in what's the pizza happening zone. bite by bite. Yeah, which I, I, I kind of like. It was it was nice seeing that in real time. But we can honestly just skip ahead. To Hold the on, really quick. I do remember him saying when when he first saw it when we sent it like a couple weeks ago to chat. He's like, "Oh, that doesn't look that bad. I'd eat that pizza." A oh, that's people right. Said that. Yeah. And yeah. then when he first got it, he was like, "I'm kind of. I'm not. This looks like it won't be that bad." <laughs> yeah. But now you can see. He says, "This half. Oh, good God." <laughs> even even more ranch. <laughs> Philly steak, salami, and pineapple were never meant to meet. Okay, that's enough. It's starting to disgust me. I, I need, need a, a cold, cold shower, shower and therapy. therapy. Not even for the meme would I open up that cup of ranch. I might bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely love ranch and want nothing to do with it anymore. See... That, that we honestly, I think we like shock therapy you into into something bet a better life though. Like yeah. no no one this deserves to trip. like ranch. It's everything someone must grow out of. Like yeah. get ordering chicken <laughs> fingers at like a nice restaurant. Like <laughs> at some point ranch. you got to move on to blue cheese and and you know like. At yeah, some point, yeah. you get even Caesar, buffalo sauce. You know, buffalo like, sauce will suffice. Every ingredient is ting. Every ingredient is tinged with ranch. No other combination of flavors matters because ranch is the catalyst for this abomination to live <laughs> against the wishes of God and man. The lifeblood. The crust. A crust is so thin, nothing can dilute the ranch. <laughs> My I'm God. drowning in ranch, bro. This is your ranch hell saw trap, Type B. Type B. I am, <laughs> I am now a sleeper cell, and the code word is ranch dressing. Okay. I'll take one more bite just for the Reddit up, dude. Get in the zone. 
<laughs> Your sacrifice <laughs> will at least bites. be recognized, forever engraved into the history of being. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do a video of you taking the last bite? <laughs> Sound like Vince Gilligan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here's that video. Alright. Oh god. Yeah, yeah funny of if he, he went through all this pain and we just fucking skipped this. We just never talked about it. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, I gotta click watch stream. No, no, no. You don't? Oh. Did Here's... it work? Yeah. I see. It worked on mine. It worked. Let's, Let's go. go. No. What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> I heard that too. No. Oh god. Oh my god. My planet is right on the way. James stopped it just as he went. Can you imagine? Oh, I didn't see that. Good words. He said the N word. Oh. <laughs> Never in my life have I been more repulsed by a pizza. By a what? He said, he said pizza. Jar Jar Binks pizza. <laughs> Misa pizza. Buy a pizza. He did do a Jar Jar <laughs> Binks, bro. What the fuck? Pizza. What do you mean pizza? <laughs> pizza yum yum. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pizza. Uh, was that all of baked onto the bottom of the crust or was that just like collateral from him eating it? Uh, yeah, either that <laughs> it's or he's a, a fallen stuck. soldier. Yeah. No, he escaped. I, I I really hate the way that like everything is coagulating, it's like the nasty. grease yeah. in the ranch and the and like the uh, runoff from the tomatoes and pineapple. Like they're all different viscosities, so they just like do yeah. not want to be with each other, and it looks really yeah. gross. Dude, it's it has, separating it has that, like, out. It's like, nasty. Wh what's on the cardboard? It has that like look like when you accidentally come on your sheets. You know? <laughs> what the fuck? It kind of it kinda does. It's it like does. you know. You, you I do know what you mean. You got the aura around it. Yeah, yeah. I guess it does. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this pizza. <laughs> like you said, accidentally. <laughs> yeah, I never purposefully or come on my sheets. My own willpower. So I don't know go. if I want to hear this bite. Big old piece I do of turn it Oh god, it's so thin. Turn so that shit up, Charles. I can't, the, I, I can't hear it. Tomato, a little bit reason. of spinach. The dark brown is a uh, Philly steak. Here we go. Yeah, take Ow. a bite. Oh yeah. Take, take a big take bite. bite. Oh yeah. yeah put this shit in your mouth. Slut. Yeah, spit on <laughs> it. <laughs> hey, he's, he's, really he's really thinking. <laughs> yeah. Mind over matter, brother. Yeah. <laughs> the way it smacks back onto the cardboard. <laughs> it's just like... There was pineapple. There was pineapple. <laughs> I'm shocked he didn't like, I don't know throw if I'm going to eat that tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> did he eat it? Like, Did he ever send an update? Did he actually eat the other I'm not half? not quite at the point where I want to throw up. But being near it, I'm gonna push it away from my body now. <laughs> being near it makes me feel bad about myself. I, I totally know yeah. the feeling. The lighting in his house looks so dramatic too. Yeah, it's just like it's a like single it's just overhead, yeah. at like fl fluorescent light. It's, it's like he's like, interrogating it. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it's it's like a it creates these deep shadows in yeah. his eyes and everything. It's like looks like that. Opening uh, scene from The Godfather, just like <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Dim, that dimly lit room. Like he's, <laughs> you come into my it's house a, I was on the day, day, day of my ranch pizza. My ranch, <laughs> you put ranch on my pizza. It's, it's beautiful cinematography. Honestly, you'll never even call yeah. me Gavo. <laughs> he wakes up oh, with a salami God. in his bed. <laughs> <laughs> it just like guts the exterior. <laughs> <laughs> his wall art is fucking ribbed for his or her pleasure, bro. <laughs> Here's where I stole my dildos. <laughs> his or her. Well, you know, being from California, you never California, know. California. Yeah, sorry, their pleasure. <laughs> oh, California. <laughs> ribbed for they them's pleasure. <laughs> ribbed for Joe Biden's pleasure. <laughs> More like rigged for his election. There's a 
<laughs> well, Skavo said he. I got the uncomfy meat sweats feeling without the sweat. I Shut took my shirt out. off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Skavo. Like internally broiling. Skavo yeah. be like, and I am yeah. so proud of myself for eating diarrhea, and I'm so happy I have diarrhea in my stomach. And I hope it really is. Yeah, that pizza is Skavo. now dubbed. The Skavo. The Skavo. Yeah. Andrew, people are breaking into your fucking house or something? What the fuck, oh, dude? What the hell? Okay. Andrew, yeah, look so... out behind you. <gasps> a, little gr a little green man. <laughs> He's gonna suck you off. <laughs> he's in the shape of a, a rectangle. He's in the shape of an anvil and he's, and he's speaking ve like... <laughs> very flat against the wall. <laughs> so I think I can't. It, the, the first time it happened was forever ago, but we have some military guy who's living next to us it's uh, military oh. them yeah military <laughs> thems <laughs> since the U u.s military's gone woke meanwhile our, yes. our rivals are learning <laughs> since obama and biden made the military gay uh, <laughs> we, all they learn about in military camp now is pronouns meanwhile the enemy's learning how to fire guns <laughs> Do you punch see the cinder here? blocks <laughs> they renamed it the r she not the army this is fucked. <laughs> the are they? <laughs> Did you know that are the they what? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that the navy has gay people in it now? <laughs> unlike any other point in history, those guys away from their wives for two years in the middle of a forest. I'm sure they don't fuck each other in the ass sometimes. <laughs> never happened they definitely so, don't come on each other's faces they definitely don't put the mre jelly all over their nut sacks and lick it off sometimes because it feels good uh oh step sergeant i didn't make my bed yo i got the pop rocks in my mre put them on my balls step sergeant so funny the idea step that sergeant. Like, like your, st your sergeant's like killed an action so yeah, you to get a step sergeant. sergeant a new guy yeah. hey guys you're and not he's my like, real sergeant he's like a a lame substitute teacher. He's like, hey guys, I know I'm not your normal sergeant. Today we're going to watch a movie. <laughs> he's he to puts be on osmosis cool. films. I know your last sergeant didn't let you have pop rocks on your balls, but... <laughs> but guess what? It's pop rock day. Your real sergeant comes back and he's like sitting on the desk. He's standing with his, leaning on the desk and he's like, the note I got from the step sergeant. <laughs> he's got like a box really of... Good. Worst he's, behaved. He's got like a box of MREs and it's like that Captain Crunch that's oops, it's all berries. And it's like, oops, it's all pop <laughs> rocks. <laughs> it's just, every, everything, every bag of MRE comes with a nice pop rock and a candy condom, a fruit roll up condom. And Anyway, so they have people over the time. Big old trucks are blocking our house all the time because they come over. Yeah. And the first time it happened, me, Jared, and Courtney were just sitting in the living room. I'm watching TV. What you watching? Yeah, what you watching? No Set clue. I, it, this has been a while ago, and I just forgot to just bring it up on beef. This, it, he went. It really he went wasn't. to film. He went to film school, bro. You don't even know what he's watching. <laughs> can't even. You can't even tell us what he's watching on TV. We are honestly probably watching just like Dragon like, Tales memes. Yeah, Dragon Tales, Veggie Tales. Uh, Pichuli compilation. Like, yeah, Pe seven. honestly, it could be a Pichuli <laughs> compilation. So this guy busts speaking, into the though. door and just like freezes and like looks at us and I, I, we're all staring at him and he goes, my bad, and closes the door and leaves. <laughs> my bad. And I, and we just went back to watching uh, TV and I'm, I'm I'm looking and I was, I was cooked at this. Yeah. Like I was cooking when this happened and I was, I was so out of it. I looked at Jared and I was like, did that really happen? Like, <laughs> it, it happened so fast, and the guy just sure. stared this at us. Big baller blunt, crazy. <laughs> it's it's like a studio crazy. audience when he like just cr cracked the door and poked his head in. That was just like, <laughs> yeah, just the fucking crazy. Yeah, man. just everyone yeah. gets excited because it's a crossover episode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> yeah, Andrew, I gotta borrow so your pop rocks. <laughs> <laughs> what Andrew. for, Jimmy? Wait, was, was he in his fatigues? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I was going to so. say, I would have been hard. I would have been terrified if a man been... in fatigues walked You're into my house. You're breaking the Third Amendment. Get out. <laughs> no, I would have just thought he was he was uh, having a bad day. He they forgot to pop rocks in his rations. And... <laughs> yeah. I was going to get uh, <laughs> fucking a, uh, Chris Kyle. Yeah, exactly. Real quick, just for my own personal amusement. Was it the house... When you're standing on on the dick or the stairs that go out of yours, is it the one like immediately? You could stand it? on my dick. Yeah, it's because <laughs> it's, it? it's the one straight over there. Yeah, because like right it? next oh. to you. Because mm -hmm. when we were there, wasn't it like they were also throwing parties? But then it, 
It was weird. They were like, I think there was no one living there. There, yeah. Well, that was yeah. the thing. Was there was no one living there, but then we, oh, like, we heard you know a bunch what? of people in there, and we were yeah, like, people were like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Someone moved out, and then uh, some people were just like popping in there to party. <laughs> and then after you guys left, they we didn't see them for a while. And then these new people moved in. Mm. Anyway, so that happens, and then cut to Saturday. Me, Courtney, and Jared were we were chilling outside. We had a little fire. Um, we had the dogs out. We're vibing, and some girl dogs out. comes and parks not like next to our house or something, like directly behind us. And we were all we kind of looked over, and we were. I mean, we immediately knew what was. We were like, oh, she meant to be over here. Yeah. She's walking up. And I look at her and I go, I think you might have the wrong place. And she goes, she's like looking down at her phone and she very casually looks up and goes, no, I'm not. And keeps walking <laughs> up. And I kind, I was kind of just like, uh, and she gets to the top. She like looks around. She looks down at us and she goes, it's like clearly is like, uh oh, I might yeah. have been wrong. And I, I just kind of looked up bitch. at her and, yeah, and I was her. like, yeah, you kind of are. <laughs> yeah. And she went, oh my God. Is this not too? And my and Courtney goes, if you're looking for, it's this one. And she she was like, oh oh my god, I'm so. And she starts walking down, and she's like, I was I'm being such a, a rude ass bitch. Like I just I came in here confident as hell that I had the right spot. <laughs> and then she looks at the truck that is parked right in front of our place, and she was like, well, this mother, he's a cunt for making me think this is his place. <laughs> and then walked away, and we I was like, okay. <laughs> I hate it. I hate living yeah. next to these people. We That's keep getting so uninvited guests. Yeah, where are you gonna move? Yeah. Whatever happened to that? I thought you were gonna move. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <Didn't. Yeah. laughs> moving's hard. <laughs> Mo moving moving's sucks. hard. It's expensive. Yeah. Uh, there's like a renting shortage up here, so we're gonna try uh, again. <laughs> we're gonna give it another try next. Not year. Not everyone has moving <laughs> privilege like you do, Flex. <laughs> yeah, I just, no, I Flex. Know really was, <laughs> they applied for a place. I wasn't sure what happened with that. What a bitch, though. Like, to, to, yeah, fuck no, her, I'm not. I guess I would just never have the balls to do that if a stranger, like if a perfect stranger tells me you're at the wrong spot, I would never think to go, no, I'm not. No, I'm you not. You know what? You know the, what? She, like, she, she probably watched like a YouTube video that day that was like, you need to be your empowered, confident self. You can't <laughs> let nobody push you around. Nobody. They just use you for your pussy. They use you for your money. And then she's like, you know what? You're right. Fuck. I'm not, no one's pushing Fuck. me around anymore. I'm gonna, t t no, I'm gonna, I'm not taking no for Fuck. an answer today. <laughs> and then she pulls up to your fucking ass. She's like, no, I'm not. And then she, the one time she's confident in her like anxiety riddled, <laughs> pathetic life, she's, she's completely yeah, wrong. She's completely and, wrong. It gets like a panic, fucking full on panic attack in front of four strangers and Fuck. a dog. She <laughs> also asked us if we wanted her to move. She was like, oh, do you want, do you want me to move? And I don't think Courtney fully heard her. Um, cause she answered with, uh, yeah, I think so. Um, <laughs> Damn. So, so she went and moved her car. Um, she was, I guess, cool about the aftermath, but still yeah. I've never had someone just be like, we, no, we I'm in, so no, were you sitting out the front of your place, like on a, yeah, we were so outside our place, our own to home. We have two dogs, a fire pit. There's three, like three people there. And I went, oh, I think you're at the. Now I'm not. To, yeah, to, to like, like argue with the people <laughs> sitting outside of a house. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> I know it's crazy. What I will say, front, and your front, like your uh, yeah, like, <laughs> your houses are very similar, which I think is what James is about to say. I wasn't going to really? say that, but that is a good well, point. But I, that was not what I was going to say. That's a great you do point. Have similar looking houses. I could see how someone could get confused. But oh, also. it's confusing as hell. Parking they, a car have... in front of a house is what I was going to say. Is of. I would have also thought that, but I would have not said, no, I'm not, and just tried yeah. to walk into your house. Yeah. Be, park, like, it, he legit parks. I know where he parks, and it's, it looks like he lives in your house. Yeah, no, it's, where it's else extremely would you, annoying. Yeah, it's very it, strange. You'd think, well, you'd think she'd bring that up. You'd think she'd be like, oh, is this not, he, he's parked here. Is this not his house? And I'm then looking, you'd be like, I, no. I think J James is probably right. I think she watched, like, she watches Jordan Peterson for women. <laughs> you know, that's just like, <laughs> Jessica Peterson. get up, put Fuck. your makeup on. Fuck, man. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and so she walked up confident <laughs> as hell, and she was like, no, I'm not. And imme almost immediately was like, uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yes, I, I am. I, 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 I am me. in the wrong spot. <laughs> Anyway, so, so that that's like, that's about it. So you guys seen, you think um, of that, Skavo? Have you guys seen? Uh, I think you should leave. I think we all have. 
No, I haven't yeah. seen the second season, I but saw, I saw the first one. I saw I've seen a couple episodes. I keep episodes. seeing those fucking memes. Dude, it's uh, so the, fucking funny. I don't know, there's, that there's dude the just one... makes me laugh. I don't even know who he is, but he just makes but me laugh. Have you seen the one with the job interview where he leaves and it says it's a pull door? It's a push door, but he says it's a pull one. Yeah, and he yes, like rips it backwards off the hinges. <laughs> yeah, I like to imagine she does that. She's like, no, this is it. And then just like, that's why she like goes inside so and starts like rifling through his his fucking shit. Yeah, like, like cooking spaghetti. Yeah, yeah making cooking. spaghetti. He's just and going into our fridge. She's like, no, no. In the wrong, but yeah. she's just like, I can't. I can't. She just has to too live late there. to back out. God damn yeah. it. This is a little bit. What yeah, would Jordette dies. Peter, uh, Peter, uh, daughter Peter's thing? Peter Fornia, <laughs> communist yeah, Fornia, yeah. Peter. <laughs> Peter Fornia, I, I think the I think the thing that I find most interesting is that Andrew B, which it, this isn't a criticism, shopping. but it's Andrew Andrew B shopping, Andrew B Courtney DeLorean. B shopping, Andrew B <laughs> leaving his door unlocked at all times besides when he goes to sleep. Yeah, which and is for very me, weird. I always grew up. I my house is locked down like a fucking fort at all times, unless someone Same. is unlocking, leaving, and then relocking the house. Well, actually, my doors see, are never unlocked. Even if four I, people are home, if one leaves, they lock it all up. Again. Yeah. Well, that's mm. see. Here's the thing. I normally do. I normally have the doors unlocked. The other two yeah. are not as like uh, about it. But I'm I'm a locked kind of guy. Um, oh, and so they're like, the unlock motherfuckers. They're the uh, they're the unlock yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah, I don't get and the unlock shit. Yeah, well, that's the, why because I I people popping into my place. I'm like, yeah, that's, fuck I don't that. Like that. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> Growing up all the time, we we had up because we grew up in the middle of fucking nowhere in the country, and no one locks their doors where we're from. We do these days, um, but it's a cow walks like, in. Yeah, it was weird. Like it was just you. It's so stupid too, because like mum would lock the front door, but then leave the back unlocked. It's like, oh yeah, if someone's gonna rob the place, that's definitely they, yeah. I never they would got definitely that either. Not try the back. Door. Yeah, they wouldn't go yeah. around. Damn it! The front is loud. Time to go. <laughs> Shit. What is this mysterious I always like force robbing that's a house from me. the front door? <laughs> my preferred means of entry. It's like an invisible we, wall in a video game. My yeah, my family always been the. Yeah, the, it's a cl <laughs> clipping zone. Yeah. Fuck it. Me and, my, me and my family always have used the garage. We'd be garage motherfuckers to enter our homes. So mm. the yeah. garage got a pin code, and then you open the garage, and then the door inside the garage into the house is locked. So it's like, and then the front Double door's lock. locked. All the windows are fucking, they got locks on them. All the doors got locks on the handle and on the top yeah. and on the bottom. And it's like, not even because nothing's ever happened to us, but it's just like, you never know. I don't know. I, don't know. You know, I feel like 50 yeah. years ago it was normal. It was just like, oh, everybody's doors are unlocked. You know, yeah. I, I know. my, But I, I don't fucking, I never knew my neighbors. Like, my neighbors were, might have well as been pedophiles and rapists. Not <laughs> yes. that they were. And they were. But right. I don't, I didn't know anybody besides my friends and their families in my town. Like, <laughs> so pedophiles. there was no, there was no one to trust. It's like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, there was no one to distrust, but there was no one to trust. Right. I feel bad. Our current neighbors, we, we share like Our a, pedophiles. I bet if they were and rapists. Just, I may have brought it up, but yeah, we share like a dick space with them, but there's like a very shitty yeah. divider. Um, but the, the, when they moved in, they, we, we had this place for like a year and a half before they moved in. So we just had like no neighbors, which was really nice in an apartment. Um, yes. Mm. It was just like, it's like an older couple with just a dog. They never like, they're never loud or anything. It's, you know, good neighbors, but we kind of missed the opportunity to introduce ourselves. Like the first, like, oh, two times we yeah. were kind of in the same oh, space. Yeah. And now, like, and I feel like they're also kind of like us. Like they're not the sort of people to like go out of their way to introduce. So there's yeah. been like multiple kind of awkward times now where we've like ended up in the elevator together or like ran into each other in the street. Yeah. And no one really knows what to do. We just kind of give like a little. Bro. You know, it just yeah, head nod. Yeah. Yes, yes, I know that exact feeling. <laughs> Yesterday was when Mr. Chip shed himself. <laughs> he didn't <laughs> shed himself. What happened was he was so excited for dinner. Um, <laughs> he was using he was using the litter box, and I got just up to like go me. and give him dinner, and he literally came running out mid shit. <laughs> oh lord! <laughs> He's just leaving and, like a trail behind. No, him. literally. <laughs> <laughs> literally so i had to like clean that up and then i was like going out to the bins and i was like to the rubbish chute in our apartment yeah and i was really like i was <laughs> rushing to get it out and i realized as i was leaving that the our neighbor was there at the elevator and i was like oh god he's gonna think i'm like ignore it because i <laughs> he's was gonna like, think just... i shit my pants <laughs> <laughs> that too but also i was like oh it's gonna seem like i'm ignoring him for the 10th time so i was like right. yeah. on the way back he was still there and i was like kept had an accident and he was like i oh, yeah. 
another went back inside. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man, yeah. it's so it's even worse when you like you wait super long and then you're like, fuck it, I'll. And I'll then try they didn't want it. And, and yeah. yeah, exactly. They and they're just like, yeah. nice. And you're like, I, it was, it yeah. like they were never thinking like, about it. They, what like, they didn't say? even give a shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so stupid. That's why yeah. I actually I, I met one of my neighbors. Uh, today because we, we had to go like let him know we <laughs> that had, you were mexican yeah like hey just by the way i'm a brown <laughs> just man. by the way i'm a minority <laughs> so, yeah. that doesn't scare you <laughs> what about this <laughs> it actually would have worked because our neighbor is he's like they're straight up like from africa which is cool but oh uh, that's sick yeah so i went over to their their uh so we went over to their house today to let him know that like hey there's gonna be a guy in your backyard all day today <laughs> and i i felt so bad because like i met the in wife but wait what oh yeah because uh, so we, we there's like a fence obviously that separates our backyards but okay yeah and like the fence is just fucked up because i guess whoever lived here last like forever ago had a big dog that just like <laughs> fucking ate the just fence. ate Bro, my, <laughs> just yeah, ate, like, my, <laughs> ate the fence <laughs> My dogs would knock entire fence panels down. That is insane. They'd, to me. I, they'd, I, I run, they'd see a bird and run at it and just go head first into it. And yeah. like, a, and this was, these were solid at like, this wasn't like shitty wood. This yeah. was solid fucking. And they would knock entire like hundred pound panels of fence right. down. Yeah. So that's yeah, that, that do be happening. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't even know those things. That's what they told me. Like, I thought it was like, oh, you know, maybe like a storm or something. But no, they said like, oh yeah, the people who lived here last had a dog that ate that fence. <laughs> like it almost felt like a joke. The fence got that dog in him. Yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I definitely know the vibe of like not meeting your neighbors because that, that is how it is in apartments. I mean, you know, who gives a fuck about your neighbor? But like yeah. in a house, if you meet like them in a neighborhood, it's like, it's like you know, you feel like you almost have to meet them, especially if you're showing yeah. back. I, mean, I would want to more house, in a so yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would want yeah, to more in that situation. I feel yeah, like definitely. in an apartment, if you meet them, there's more of a reason for them to contact you if they don't like something you're doing. Oh sure, yeah. and it's like yeah. if we've never met and everyone's a little nervous about talking to each other, then I can fucking scream my head off, and you're too much of a pussy to come tell me yeah. to stop because you don't know because you don't know my name. Yeah, you don't know who I am. How old yeah. I am, how big I am, what my name is. Yeah. You can't say shit. You don't know if I got that dog in me or not. So <laughs> yeah. you ain't saying shit. Yeah. But imagine if I threw like a hand grenade in your balcony to get you to stop. I like I like the idea of Doplex introducing himself to his neighbors. He's like, oh, we just stick together in case fuck we get we get get out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're just building the bonds of minority yeah. friendship. Yeah. <laughs> Keep the I, Texans I will away. say he did, he did seem very happy to see us that we were brown people. Is he tall <laughs> enough to is he tall enough to stand and look over the fence but only like the top of his head and talk to you like in tool time? <laughs> like in fucking open <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, I remember I looked I looked up hey, neighbor. Neighbor. <laughs> like <laughs> the internet ruined the magic of that show because I remember one day I just looked up what that guy actually looked like and I was like oh, oh yeah. just a guy. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, yeah. I remember, like, no longer just a hat. Show as a kid and it's like I yeah. will never know what that guy looks like. There was a there was a TV show in New Zealand. It was like one of those kids ones that they have on like Saturday mornings where it's like the the shit that plays between cartoons or whatever. Oh yeah. And there was a guy, there was like a character on there called Props Boy who always wore like a bucket hat Props with boy. Like, yeah, I don't I don't know. But it was he wore like a bucket hat with like a see-through visor in it that he could see oh, through. Okay, so you never yeah. saw like his full face. And it was always like a joke about like you could never see his face, you know, like they they always have skits and stuff around that. And I remember there was yeah. one time it was, was filmed like in front of like a, a stu- like a live audience or whatever. And there was one episode where he like turned away from the camera and lifted the hat up to everyone and then turned back to the camera and put it back on. And I was like, if I was in the audience, I could have seen Pops Boy's face. <laughs> and then you grow up and you that realize cool. I, could just search, I could just search the actor's name and just yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, found, I think we found him on boy. Facebook. Because it's New Zealand. <laughs> Yo. That's <laughs> hey, epic. He should have been on Hat Book. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Book it, Hat Shout Book. Out Props Boy. So I, I want you boys to watch this and pay very close attention. Pay very close attention and I, I made sure to save this when I saw it. I downloaded this video because I was like, they are going to delete this. I know they are going to delete this. And they deleted it. So I'm very glad that I saved it. So please. I'll, I'll sequester myself from this discussion because I know I already know what it is. Oh, okay. I, d- I don't. I so I'm excited I to see it. Me and WC see if the boys can figure it out. Yeah. It's this. I like this fucking noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a really good sound effect. It is a good sound effect. Fucking slamming it. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right. 
There it That's goes. That's so loud. Whee! Uh. Is the loudness part of it? Can I lower it? Uh, I mean, you know, it, well, I guess it kind of helps. It's still loud anyway. Wait, you, I think you boys missed it. All right, take a look at the window. What do you boys see? Given the context. <laughs> oh, a suicide net? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. this man is filming this fucking happy-go-lucky fun time playing with his fucking plane throwing it out the window and you see fucking suicide nets in this chinese fucking factory are we sure this is a suicide net Brother. yeah i'll be i'll be completely six dollars with their dog clicks the first time i saw this someone said oh they left the suicide nets in and i was like maybe those are just safety nets precautionary nets right i also but like because you could you could jump past that you could like you could one foot and a half jump. long net and you're like damn yeah. it there goes oh, my shit. plans Fuck. of eternal Fuck. <laughs> wouldn't you just put like bars over the windows if you didn't want people climbing out of them or just make yeah kind of, sure like, i was gonna say thing? counterpoint uh, like american hey, hotels and like, pretty much all of the windows lock so that people can't do that right it's pretty standard yeah. actually but to have counterpoint 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 the floor the court is yours so this is counterpoint. <laughs> so my counterpoint is peanut butter jelly peanut time. Peanut butter jelly time. <laughs> Your honor, peanut butter jelly time. <laughs> peanut butter jelly time. The judge starts fucking twerking. So <laughs> when people started pointing out, because this this was like a promoted ad, right? On Twitter. Yeah. When people mm. started pointing out that there were supposed suicide nets visible when this <laughs> threw the plane out the window, <laughs> they deleted this video. And they re-uploaded it, a new version, which I have also included here. Uh, sans so the After Effects suicide the fucking newest <laughs> they suicide nuts out. out. Yeah. They just yeah. put a JPEG <laughs> over it. It took shitloads of, it's like really well done. It's like yeah. fucking movie quality. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of well, just want to see how it ends. Mm. If you don't mind. A small child jumps out the window. Can you imagine working in this fucking miserable factory as this asshole throwing flying these plane loud around, ass like, planes around all day? See, that that context Bro. gives me makes me think they are suicide That's nets. That's what I'm saying, brother. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think they're suicide nets. My money's on suicide nets. Let us know in the comments what you yeah. think it is. Suicide net? <laughs> what? Okay, my, my, well, we have another one. We my thing with one. suicide nets I've never understood is like, uh, first of all, are they real? Second of all, yeah. if you wanted to kill yourself, wouldn't you just do it at home? Like, them being at is it just because you're so miserable at work that you're like, I'm going to kill myself? It's like when you see like very specific signs, like, you know, if you go to like an Outback Steakhouse and they have like a sign outside of it, this is like, please stop ejaculating on our please front don't. door. It's <laughs> yeah. like, you know that somebody has probably ejaculated on the front door. On the front door. Yeah. So those suicide nets, same thing. You know, people, enough people have jumped out of the window to their death where they had to start putting out these little fucking Animal Crossing nets outside. I've caused one of those before. A suicide? You made someone on. kill themselves? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kudos for fun. Jeez. <laughs> I think I told the story of how I almost got run over when I was coming off a tram once. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you now when you go that. to that stop, they play a, <laughs> they play like a pre-recorded clip. They're like, you. <laughs> <laughs> is it like a little video of you? Like, <laughs> just like, yeah, Kudos like walking out and going, oh, crazy yeah. train. Yeah. yeah, no, it's just a clip. A clip there, like, hey, don't fucking like, make, make sure you check both ways before you get off the tram. Uh -oh. I was like, I don't know if that was exclusively me, but they obviously got enough complaints about that intersection. They were like, yeah, we Yeah, yeah. Because that only happened, I've, I've heard it in other stops. Did you complain? Like, I did, yeah. Oh, okay. well, no, because I wanted Very to get the nice. license. I was going to, I was in such a fucking. Uh, flummox after almost getting run over I forgot to get the guy's license plate mm. and I was like hey could you like look on the security camera footage of that tram and get me his license plate so I can report him to the fucking uh, to the pigs <laughs> so they can like go around to his house and do a, 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 a welfare check if you know what I mean and then kill him <laughs> just, just, like a cab but that guy almost ran me over yeah. <laughs> pretty much you should just said that guy was having a psychotic episode yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing i don't like you know obviously a cab but also if you could use them as your own personal assassination <laughs> feel free es especially especially w w in the people's republic of austrianism yeah. austrianism it's, it's so funny how no, but people say the state i'm in is a fucking communist state because lockdowns and shit so it's like you're not it's, this is the universal right now mm. yeah
Your guys, yeah. beauty, much like in Civilization, with your blue jeans, your beautiful cultures reached here and, and are convinced big everyone boobs. that um, fucking beer, all trans people sh should be killed. And fuck <laughs> Let's <laughs> fucking go. That's where the Classic that literally America that's where the fucking the neo Nazi <laughs> rally was. The 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 trans rights counter protest Nazi rally was a few <laughs> months ago. What's I like the epic? idea of that. It's like a StarCraft game where it's like, oh shit, they're they're building uh fucking they're building rocket launcher guys. Okay, we we need to <laughs> we gotta send uh we gotta send snipers. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's the, it's, the, it's, the trans, that. it's the trans <laughs> rally. Send trans the Nazis. Units. <laughs> oh, it's the Black Lives Matter rally. Send the old white people that don't work during the day. <laughs> the fucking Yu-Gi-Oh counter card. Yeah. I Fuck play it. old white people. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything actually like funny in this one or is it just the fact that the things are gone? Because yeah, I guess we already have that from what you said. Yeah, no, it's just the fact that they took down that video, re-recorded this one without any window yeah. shots. <laughs> they put up 500 <laughs> Nike boxes in front of the yeah. fucking window to hide the fucking nets. <laughs> Why does this guy have like acid burn face? Or is that just the Yeah, what the fuck is it? They got hit with a plane. He fucking 9 11 himself. <laughs> the the that was the weakest slam ever. Yeah. yeah he that was like, oh like shit, it, it, it will actually break. break. Don't do it. Yeah. All right. Uh, everyone's probably seen there's the show called The Good Doctor where. There's a doctor with autism and it's this actor that doesn't have autism playing a doctor with autism and it's like the struggle between his autism and being like a really high ranking doctor and surgeon or some shit. Which personally, this portrayal of an autistic person is like genuinely offensive to me. Yeah, I'm not, no, I'm not one to fucked. get offended at many things, but like I have two family members that have autism and I it really made me feel bad like yeah. I, it, and like bad for my cousins and like it, it i don't know how this is on seven seasons and like wine moms in middle america watch it and are like oh what a beautiful story because like it's literally just some dude some actor that doesn't obviously have autism just like acting like a total fucking <laughs> for no reason like it's yeah it's, yeah. it's like yeah. so offensive to me I heard someone yeah, describe it's, it's it as it's like up. blackface for autistic people <laughs> Yeah, it's it really fucked. Through. I don't. It is. You know, this is one of the most successful shows on network television in the country right now. Is it? I, thought, I like I that. The show uh, is four weird. years old or something. It's it's on its seventh season and it literally is like the most profitable show on TV or some shit. That's insane. Yeah, yeah I, I saw that clip of him. Uh, <laughs> someone asks him a question and they were like trying to show off his autism powers because he has like all this sh yeah. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Oh, show up in front of him like blinking lights yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. A yeah. bunch of people were quote tweeting with like, I have autism. We can do this. We can <laughs> yeah. This it is like the power the we have. Menu. Yeah. yeah. Well, not, yeah. there's also that clip where he's like, it's, well, he's like a fucking dog, like with rain because of a fucking like hand dryer in the bathroom. He's like having yeah. like fucking like Vietnam flashbacks. <laughs> yeah. It, like they, they make it really bad. It's, it's kind seen, of yeah. fucked up. Have you seen the yeah. one where like a guy gets shot? Because he's like, he gets held up. Oh, yeah, because store. he's like, I, you can't put my hands down. You told me not to put my hands down. Yeah, and, he's like, <laughs> and it, it shows his POV and it goes, it's like fucking Call of Duty. Like, yeah, <laughs> like cut the, other scene. Two, yeah. the other two people in that scene, the girl, spoiler alert, uh, the girl gets shot. And, but the, the dude, it's fucking Greg Heffley from the Diary of a Wimpy Kid live action movie. <laughs> what it's that fuck? actor. He's yeah. just in the background, like, dude, please give him your money. Stop, yeah. And then the guy, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, what's, you know, it's crazy. I so this show is produced by the people who did House, and I could already tell. I hate I, that show so much. See, like in high school, I loved House because it was like I didn't have cable. You know what I mean? It was yeah. like for people with with just no cable, House was the shit because it was like the only time you get like it was like House and American Idol. That that's when you in Hell's Kitchen. That's when you get like just any semblance of like you know good television because obviously you only have like six channels to choose yeah, from. Yeah. But immediately, Did you get PBS, bro. PBS uh, Fire. Yeah, I think, I think PBS, PBS was on the yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think PBS, PBS was, was like lit, basic, personal basic bowl people. sucking. Yeah, but like before I even found out that this was pr produced by the people who made House, I could already fucking tell because it has that like Lacroix flavoring of just fucking <laughs> over the top. <laughs> medical show that makes no because house is like the, they have the same kind of thing 
It's like yeah. a dude who's like fucking but, his legs all fucked up, but he's just really good. But he's also like a fucking drug addict kind of and does fentanyl. Bro, I yeah. fucking hated House because it was just like my grandparents loved that show, and I would watch it with them sometimes yeah. as like a as like a child, and I was like, this is horrible. Like, <laughs> the, the, it's just like, uh, oh, this girl comes in, and her one of her boobs is bigger than the other ones, and then House looks at her and he's like, oh, so your husband hasn't been sucking your titties. Like he, it's like the whole thing is like he can read into their entire personal life. That's yeah. usually what it, it's like. There's a something hidden thing, embarrassing thing in their fucking personal life that's causing yeah. this thing that they don't want to tell him. But he's such a fucking legend that has so much sex he's and is so, so cool that he automatically knows that her husband. It's like, oh, my breast is too big. Oh, your husband's cheating on you because he's not drinking your breast milk enough because yeah. he's drinking another woman's breast milk, <laughs> bitch. It's that, it's like, and then it, it's what? that, and then it's also how'd like, you know that? And then he walks out with like slow music, and the fucking hospital blows up behind him, but he doesn't look back. Yeah, and it's and just he's like, walking with a cannon. What the fuck? Yeah, it's that, but then it's also like. You have a small little green man inside your right <laughs> breast that's giving yeah. you cancer. No! I don't even no! need an x-ray machine to see it. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't these the house. same? This is the same production. <laughs> I, I think hate that my guy. Name is house. <laughs> I think uh, this, gr this production, like whoever makes these shows, I think they have another show about a woman who's a lawyer and her superpower is like OCD. <laughs> yeah, so the, there's, a, there, yeah, there's the OCD lawyer <laughs> just now. That fucking sucks. Then, I gotta yeah, make this rubber the, band ball. There's the construction work with AIDS. That's another classic. <laughs> yeah, I was watching H3 was talking about this on their show and he did like a whole, he's, he made like a whole Avengers of fucking fucked up yeah. protagonists <laughs> and have like a fucking, yeah. it's like they, they all feature the in their episodes. shows. Yeah. Well, no, yeah, like they all feature in their shows, and then they they do like a fucking big special episode where they yeah, save a fucking up, yeah. yeah. It's like they need It'd a doctor like and a lawyer to figure out a car crash and who was hurt where, yeah. and then the fucking <laughs> then the fuck I don't know. It's so yeah, I like a brave like young detective in, with erectile dysfunction. Yeah, I feel like if House walked in on this guy, be like, you don't have autism. You actually just have. <laughs> You're just, you're, just really really you're just really annoying. You're just weird. You're just stupid. really annoying. You're just a terrible actor. <laughs> you're really dumb. So anyway, actor. All right, let's James watch point, this. For some reason, this this became the like main thing on Twitter for like three days, and it was yeah, really it's fucking so funny. funny. It's very yeah. funny. The, it was like over time, the law. You, you, people keep finding fucked clips of it. Like nuclear. I think it was a recent demon. episode. Yeah. Turns that out was, it was like, like just so dumb. Yeah. Turns out it's like a, a Korean show that like they've adapted for US audiences. So this it's it was originally like a mm. show in Korea, which kind of makes more sense when you think about it. I don't know why. It does feel like a K. Oh yeah. Was what are you trying to say about Koreans? <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying I'm saying their their dramas be be goofy shit like this. Not a bad. Yeah. Oh, okay. So th th this might be a clip that I tried to find. I found this clip deep in the bowels of Twitter, and I was not it's a 41 seconds it isn't funny until the 40.5th second but <laughs> that fucking half a second literally almost made me roll out of my bed and like hit my head like a little monkey <laughs> and then Bro, the doctor would have to do surgeon on surgeon yeah on yeah exactly <laughs> and then, and then, and then he'd depot. sneeze into my open wound on my head and get fired <laughs> or whatever happened to that episode uh so here it is the good doctor Too bad. It's an important social skill. <laughs> so how do you know when to lie? When people you need talk to like know a robot, things, they need to know. If they don't, <laughs> lie through your teeth and feel good about it. This is just how Mark Zuckerberg acts. But it'll hurt them. Lie through, but it'll hurt them. Some can handle it. Some can't. So how do you know who can and who can't? You tell the truth. If they like you after, then you'll know. If they don't. Then it doesn't really matter anyway. Oh no. You have cancer. Oh my god, I just laughed so hard my whole head went dizzy, bro. <laughs> Dude, I oh. almost passed out. You have cancer. <laughs> you have cancer. Dude. I oh, like as goodness. soon as he went silent for the last time. I was like, he's work. He's trying to figure out if he should. And I was like, he's gonna tell me as some scuffed shit. Because yeah. it's like a kid. It's a kid in an arm cast. I thought he broke his arm and he was in the hospital. You know. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and like you. I thought he was just talking to a kid that broke his arm. He's trying to glean some fucking insight on life for him. Yeah. Just, you have cancer. You have cancer. You have cancer. <laughs> 
But like the portrayal, like even not in the moments where he's like, I am a surgeon. Like, dude, like <laughs> even in just his normal talk, dude, I, I have, I know many autistic people. They don't talk like, they don't talk in one E flat fucking yeah. registry. Like they're a fucking yeah. robot. That, I, I, how do you know when to lie? That's not how a human talks. If, if they have a disability, like, what yeah, the, you said the he's like walking like C three PO as well. Like he, yeah, he, like, walks oh weird my god, and shit bro. Well. Yeah, like, it's so <laughs> offensive. Yeah. Not that we can probably talk, but it's just very offensive to fucking autistic people for no reason. <laughs> bro, I can talk. <laughs> Fuck that. I don't get offended by nothing with that because. I mean, I buy some shit, but like what we do, it's always in good fun, and and we know that we fuck with them, like making them mm. they them jokes. I fucking we love trans people, bro. Shout out, use my bathroom, yeah. piss in my fucking mouth, dude. I don't give a use, fuck. Use code piss. <laughs> yeah, but use this shit podcast. is like, for all we know, it's three it's three people in a room that are like, oh, I hate autistic people. Let's make a show where let's can, let's make a show where everyone thinks we like them and then just fucking dog them out every episode with this dumbass actor. I, I wouldn't even say it's that. I just honestly think this is just how people think. Because I also have a cousin with severe autism. Like, like I I know how he acts. And to me, I'm looking at this, and this is just like... Like, this feels like how Chris Chan acts. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> yeah. and Not even. Years, this is like an well, AI. No, no, like, everybody sees Chris Chan, and like, you know, you can deduce that there's a lot more than autism happening What the deduce? There. Yeah. Like, there is like a... a plethora of just and in that sense how the why is this guy a doctor how did it, how did he get through medical school if he gets scared of fucking blow dryers and stupid no, little well kids that's gas that was that was like that's one the of show. the show that was one but of how? the main point that's why this whole thing like kind of became a uh, on twitter because of that oh i am a surgeon clip is because the the dr han, <laughs> dr. han. that's what his dr. name Wong. dr han who apparently is fucking get from saints row yeah, he's done it. <laughs> nice. I I didn't know how. I, I, I just didn't know how to react to it. I didn't know how to react to that. It's done. We're good. We're fine. <laughs> I can end it there. That would There's be no, funny. Don't end. Incredible. Nobody can catch you. You're the real rage racer. See you, space people.